Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to stop or end the execution of a macro while it's in the middle of running if a certain condition has been met. Now if you'd like to get this workbook or the macro go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there. So um, basically what I want to do is to just make sure that if the user tries to overwrite some of these values with a macro that the macro will not do it and will instead exit. So I'm going to show you how to exit out of a macro really quick and then explain some circumstances where you may use it. Two shortcuts here, Alt F11 for the VBA window, Alt F8 to view macros. Now Alt F11, here's a macro I've written, very simple. But for you who just want the answer, exit sub. That's all you have to do. Exit sub will end a macro early. So as long as uh, this if statement gets down to here, and runs exit sub, the macro stops immediately. There's no error, there's no nothing, it just exits it. So if I run this really quickly with some numbers in here, hit Alt F8, run it, you don't know that anything has happened because our macro evaluated to the else statement and did exit sub. Now what I've got here, so that's the answer. If you don't want anything else, you can stop watching or else I can explain some uh, instances where you might need to use it. So hit Alt F11 to go back to the spreadsheet. Now what I want to do here, this is obviously going to work well as part of a larger macro as most of these um, tutorials are. And um, what you want to do is the user say input something. So inputs the year for which you would like to aggregate the sales data. But if you've already aggregated sales data for that year, you don't want to overwrite that number. So you want to check to say is this cell right here empty or not? So, is range C4 empty? Well, if it is empty, let's go ahead and run some code. For this example, I just have a message box that says the cell is empty. But if it's not empty, I really don't want you running this macro anymore because I don't want you to mess up the spreadsheet. And though you don't have to put exit sub within an if statement, it um, usually works best in an if statement. So that's really all there is um, to it. Let's go ahead and hit Alt F11 and run this again. If I have nothing in the cell, I hit Alt F8, run the macro, we get a little message box. The cell is empty. And like I said before, if we put numbers in it and run the macro, it does nothing because it evaluates to uh, run the exit sub. So I will leave you with this exit sub. That's how you can stop or end a macro in the middle of its execution. And that's it for this tutorial. If you'd like to get the workbook or the worksheet here, go to teachexcel.com.